question from the audience. They said, um, can you name your top five opponents you want for 2021? We know I, mean, I can't name my top five, but I can tell you my top. Of course, number one is K Sean. Um, number two, I would have to say my verse. And number three would be Jazz. That would be my top three that I would love to keep I'm the year. My verse. A lot of people be ducking her for whatever. I don't know what the reason is. Because of- she's, because, man, you don't, my verse got several, she funny. She got bars, she witty, she got the look. It's really not a person that you want to call out. You know what I'm saying? I just I I just want to battle the best though. So I'm not running from it. I know that she's a crazy opponent, but I just gotta get crazy. And I think that that's a definitely a great battle for the Kings of the Dot set. And I feel like they that's definitely something that with I would rather see there than on hundred percent. You know, different audiences, so that probably would be something like King of the Dot type of battle. 100%. Do you, when you're taking these battles, do you, are you mindful of the platform and where it's going to be? Does that come into account when you're thinking of your matchup? 100%. Um, if not, it can cost you a battle. Like, going in, going to Canada battling Bonnie, having a pool team line in America, that was like, they was like, what even is that? But that made that whole arena go crazy. And that was just me looking at what's some what's regular snack shit they be eating in Canada. <laughs> so, like, going to be honest, the Rose Prince bar I used on caution was for RX, but I just dumped it. But that was mindful of LA because, you know, Compton, LA, that's where she's from. So that was for her. Definitely morphing things to the setting, 100. percent 